Gary, many congratulations. Fairly commanding performance tonight. Had it all your own way, pretty much. Must be happy with two points. Yeah, it was kind of going all right. And then, when it, you know, we can see Glenn struggling. You know, he's having an absolute mare now. And it, it, it doesn't help, you know, when you, you expect, you know, you play boys and you, you know what they're going to do against you. You know, you, you know they're going to hit 180s. You know they're going to hit 140s, take big checkouts. But Glenn, Glenn's struggling. I'm struggling, but I'm not struggling as bad as what Glenn is at the moment. You've been through a form period like that. How hard is it, to, is it to get yourself out of them when you've got to play night in, night out? Like I say, I thought it would work in our favours. You know, we're playing every night. We've seen Michael got beat the night. You know, we thought after about three, four nights, you'll see the boys starting to play their darts again. Whereas before, it's you turn up, you turn up on the Wednesday, play Thursday, you go on, and then you've got a week. So if you do get beat, you've got a week to get over it. I think now. You get beat, you get beat, then next thing you know, I need to win now. More pressure. So, I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of 50-50. Looking at the table, this is probably one of the most closely contested Premier Leagues we, we've seen. It, it could be anyone's from here. It's just the aim, the top four at the moment, because trying to pick a winner outright seems impossible at the moment. Now, the, the first start is get over, get past the nine weeks. You know, at this, this stage, I think I've got four more points what I thought I would have, you know, it's just, it's just, but it's, it's still tight, you know, it's, uh, it is, but like I say, you get, you, you get into the last, last part of the, the tournament, you know, and then you aim for the last four, that's, that's, uh, that's it, just make sure you make the cut in the first cut, and then the next aim is get into the last four. Are you pleased, and was it important to get yesterday's result out of your system, because it wasn't, wasn't a classic oh. last night against Peter, was it? Oh, oh, I'm, I'm playing against Peter, I'm going, he's here for the taking. Just hit something, please. Just hit. nah, couldn't even. I was honestly, I was on my tiptoes throwing darts. I could not let the darts go. You know, I made the big mistake of staying in my room all day. Never got in my bed. Yeah, come down and play darts. Absolutely, nah, rotten. Absolutely rotten. You know, I've been out today having a good walk about with Peggers and that. So I was, I've been out my bed and uh, seen a bit of Milton Keynes. No, no, Costa yesterday. That's unlike you. That's that. Never got in my bed. <laughs> I think I got out once for a tinkle, and that was it. <laughs> are you um, are you looking forward to getting tomorrow out of the way and getting home after this first yeah. in Milton yeah. Keynes? Get home, like I say, it's it's, it's 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 been a good week, but it's it's also been a hard week. You know, stuck in the hotel now. I think next time we come here, everything's back open, so I think that will make a a big difference. You know, you can get out of the hotel, go for a good donder, and uh, see what shops are open. Gary, pleasure as always, mate, and we wish you all the very best tomorrow. Wagga mama's Phil. You're on. We're on. Your treat. <laughs> Gary, um, I know there's a lot of mutual respect between you and Glenn. Do you feel from a bit with what he's going through at the moment, or did you have to kind of detach yourself from that tonight and just do your own job? Bit of 50-50. It is hard because you're, you're up there playing and you, you're hearing and seeing what he's hitting. You know you're, you're, you know what Glenn could do, you know, big 140s, 180 hitter, big finishes, you know, if you get shots a double, he'll take it out. We've we seen the other night, I think it was 15 darts at a double. You know, and it, it wasn't even close. And that, that's not like Glenn, you know, so it's, it's hard. But some of these boys, these are just animals. They'll just eat you up. Do you believe he'll turn it around? Is it just a confidence thing? Well, with, with it is. Moment? Like I say, it can be the easiest game. It might be a game that he's not supposed to win or the worst game that he ever plays and wins. And that'll just uh, that'll just turn the table. You know, that's, uh, that's the way it can go. It's a funny game, darts. And Johnny Clayton for you tomorrow night. What have you made of, of Johnny's start to the season? Oh, Johnny's brilliant, isn't it? I like Johnny. Got a lot, a lot of time. You know, you come across so many people in your life, your class is a gentleman. Johnny Clayton is an absolute gentleman, you know, and it's, I said that years ago, which I hate to be right again. You know, I says if he finds it on stage, he will be an absolute monster. And he is, he is, you know, nine data last night. And we've seen Yossi hit a nine data tonight. It's getting better. Yeah, those two nine darts, both from debutants. Do you, do you think that the behind-closed-doors environment has allowed the newcomers to settle a bit quicker than perhaps un under normal circumstances? I did see my first interview. I think they've got an easy start to us. I mean, one of, the, one of the most... Well, the biggest nightmare you've got in the Premier League is walking out in front, front of 10,000 people. That is, honestly... When you, when you talk about nerves, even playing in, like playing up in Scotland, walking out in front of two, three, four, five thousand people... Mm -hmm. Honestly, you, you don't know what it's like. You know, it's absolutely horrendous, the, the extra pressure on your shoulders and the, the nerves walking out in front of big crowds. So 
these boys are used to playing here, nice quiet surrounding area, you know, it's a big change for the, the normal Premier League. Just finally, coming into this interview, you said that last night the defeat hurts. How important was it to put that right tonight? I had to get the points. You know, last night, I could, honestly, I couldn't hit a band on my hedgehog. You know, I could not reach that board. Body wouldn't let me throw. So it was nice just to to get a few few 140s up there tonight. You know, there was a few signs I was snatching again, but uh, now we go over and done with, over the line. Cheers, Gary, and well done on the win tonight. Thank you. Gary, congratulations on the win tonight. Um, going into a game against a player struggling so badly like Glenn is, what's, what's going through your mind? What's the game plan? Well, your game plan is right. Glenn's struggling, so make sure you don't play worse than him. You know, and the way my game goes now, it, it could be worse than what Glenn's playing. But uh, yeah, it's it's no hard. And when you're up there playing and they're hitting scores that you shouldn't be hitting, you know, it's uh, Glenn, Julie, phenomenal turn, turn for eight, turn eight, check out, bang, there you go, and that's it. And he's he's not been doing it lately, you know. And it's I think he's like I say, he's just in that bubble, you know. It's it's, it's a losing bubble, and the longer it goes on, the harder it gets. But once you get out of it, you and say, well, what was all the, the worries about? You know, everything's fine again. You spoke before about your performance last night. Were you pleased that you got a response? What, by winning tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm glad I wasn't playing Clayton tonight. I think he would have battered me all over the place. But uh, no, looking forward to play Johnny. You know, he's, he's played tonight. I think that's his first loss. Is it his first yeah. loss tonight? Yeah. Fingers crossed it'll be his second tomorrow. Fingers crossed. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. No, he's, he's, Johnny is in that purple zone now and he's. Honestly, he's, he's, he's a real deal. So given the fact he did lose tonight, are you expecting a reaction from Johnny tomorrow? Well, it goes two ways. Yeah, he goes, sod that, I'm coming out and playing better. Or he looks, he thinks about it and makes him play worse. I prefer the second one. <laughs> of course. Five points for you from the first four games. Five players are currently sitting on that. Um, you must be pleased with your week so far. Yeah, yeah, the way I've been playing over the, probably the last two years, you know, I thought five nights, you know, realistic, three points, four points, you know, just don't go into the fourth, fifth night with, with zero points. That's That was my nightmare. And uh, no, we've got a few points, so a few more points than what I expected, to be honest. Brilliant. Really appreciate your time again, Gary, and uh, best of luck for tomorrow. Night, lads.